Hello YouTubers, my name's Nathan and you're watching Robot Masters. So we're gonna have a quick look at this guy's problem and see if we can provide a solution. So I've been hearing from a lot of YouTubers that the Roomba S9 is making a, some grinding noise, kind of like this YouTuber's video. So like other YouTubers I have received comments saying that the housing's bent, uh, this person contacted iRobot and was able to get a cleaning head module sent to him, which is basically the housing. So to keep it simple, I'll call it the housing, but iRobot calls it the cleaning head module. It's really simple to remove the housing just from four screws and remove the extractors and the side brush. That's it. Let's go ahead and start tearing this robot apart. There's a green tab off to the right which allows the small plastic piece to be lifted so you can remove the two extractors. Just lift up on the extractor and gently pull away. They should come out fairly easily. Before removing the four screws, make sure you remove the side brush first. The side brush is held on by a single screw. It's a Phillips type head. Gently grab the base of the side brush and lift up. You don't want to grab the bristles because they might pull out of the housing. Next, we'll start removing the four screws, which are Phillips type head as well. Once all the screws have been unscrewed, do not try to pull on the screws. They're actually tapered at the end to prevent them from falling out. So gently pull on the sides, the middle, as you start loosening up the housing. If it doesn't come up easily, you have one of the screws still tied down. All it takes is just your fingers. Don't try to use any tools to pry on the plastic housing or you could break it. Again, as you gently lift up, if it's still caught, just double check all the screws, make sure they're all loosened up. So this is basically the cleaning head module that I wrote by seeing this YouTube person. So the part was pretty easy to remove and it's easy to install. Let's get the vacuum out of the way. We're going to go ahead and take a closer look at the cleaning head module according to iRobot or YouTube calls it the housing. So the extractor is on a floating head design, it is spring loaded and there's two locking arms on either side. Once your new cleaning head module arrives, let's go ahead and take a look at how to install it. So basically, installing the cleaning head module is in reverse. Install the cleaning head module, install the four screws, install your two extractors, and then last, install the side brush. Keep note that the two holes up front 
goes where the clip sensors are. Gently lower down and it should just drop in place. You may need to apply some gentle pressure on each side just to get it to be flush with the housing and robot. Now we're going to screw in the four screws. Take care not to over tighten these screws because these are just going to plastic and you can easily strip the screws out. So next, locate the green tab and lift up on the right. Once you lift up the robot, you'll be able to see a green star icon and a square icon. These two indicators will tell you which side brush to install. Just make sure that the ends are flush with the housing and close the little cover. Now notice if it's not flush, it will not close. Don't apply additional force, just reseat the extractors and it should just fall into place. Lastly, screw in your side brush and enjoy your new robotic vacuum. Hopefully there's no more squeaky noise, grinding noise, and you can have a happy Roomba S9. Thanks for watching and see you next time.